Swanly is a project management app built for Jira Cloud to help teams plan, manage, and deliver issues such as epics, stories, or even initiatives, as well as releases across Jira projects. Now, let's get you started with Swanly. First, you can access Swanly by clicking on Swanly Roadmap within the app menu, which takes you to the Swanly page. You'll notice that there are two views available in Swanly, issue view or release view. Based on how your team manages work, you can use either or both. If you're managing work on the issue level, then you can use issue view to schedule any type of issues from any Jira project in a simple roadmap, then track the progress. Swanly's release view, on the other hand, allows you to plan Jira releases on your roadmap, including cross-project releases. Keep in mind that every deliverable stage is trackable at a glance on the roadmap, thanks to a stage dropdown for both issues and releases. Once you've chosen the view you want to work with, you can import your projects by clicking on the button on the side panel. Focus on importing the projects you want to work with only so you can avoid looking at all the unnecessary data. To schedule an issue or a release on the roadmap, click on the Add button. Find the activity you want to schedule or create a new one. Then click on Schedule and select the dates. When creating your cross-project release, you can select multiple projects to associate it with, or go straight to the release detail and add a new project in the Projects field. It's that simple. Once your issue or release is scheduled on the roadmap, you can open it in the Report view by simply clicking on the Work Activity name on the roadmap, or via the List view. Here, you'll find detailed information about scope, stages, or phases, and useful progress insight based on scope statuses, aggregated Jira time tracking, story points, and activity burn down charts, all based on the scope of the issue or release. But in order to plan and track progress with awesome reports and charts, you need to first add the scope you wish to track by clicking on Add Issue, then create a new issue or choose existing ones in Jira. To get quick access to your issues or releases, and to filter through them as you please, click on the List View tab. This is where you'll find key information about your issues and releases in a compact list where you can easily filter through. Now, to access these deliverables in Report View, all you need to do is click on them. To set up templates, go to Configuration at the top right of the screen, and then click on Templates, where you can customize your own. Stages will help you break down your initiatives and releases into trackable phases. The Swanly Roadmap Toolbar helps improve roadmap navigation by allowing you to filter or group by project, status, and template, as well as expand stages so you don't individually click on every issue or release in order to drill down. Also, the Zoom view can be spread out yearly, quarterly, weekly, or daily. Add that to the ability to zoom in and out, and the fact that no matter where you are, you can get back to today with a simple click. Finally, for some contrast and depth of color, hop onto the dark side by switching dark mode on in configuration. We really hope you enjoy managing your Jira projects with Swanly. Please don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any questions or want to know more about any specific feature. You can also visit our Swanly documentation page for more information. That's it for now. See you guys in the next video.